we couldn't have gotten a better weather night. Uh, I know we were all thinking about that all week long. So the fact that we were able to have such a beautiful night for the uh, the mock game, we were able to do all situations that we wanted. Uh, any of these scenarios, you always just hope to stay healthy. We did. Uh, I think all we did today was just get healthier. So uh, excited about that. I thought we had a good, uh, pretty clean, pretty clean on both sides of the ball. A couple penalties that we need to clean up. But uh, all in all, what we wanted to get out of tonight, we did. How many plays, roughly? I think it was, uh, we had 42 for the first offense, 42 for the second offense, or first defense, and then about 18 special teams plays, so 100 total was the plan. And then eight plays for the, uh, How do you think the, the third. Uh, pretty well. I thought they played well. I thought Jaden played really well, actually, I think, today, the way I got to watch the film. But I think standing back behind him, uh, watching most of the decisions that he made, listening to him in the huddle, uh, he did a really nice job. Now he's got 14 days or, you know, 13 days from now uh, to be able to get himself in a position to own the offense even better. And I think the best part about these next 13 days is he's going to commit to that. I was going to ask, is this 13 days, does this tonight represent like a shift in focus and where practice is going? Yeah, t tonight ends training camp. Tonight ends training camp. Uh, tomorrow we'll clean up some things uh, from the film, but um, all the shift goes uh, for our coaching staff tomorrow morning on game planning. And uh, when our players come in tomorrow afternoon, or tomorrow I guess at noon for their lifts, uh, the focus uh, should be able to get locked in moving forward for opening day. Do you expect Jacob to be back in full speed? Yeah, I expect speed? Jacob to be practicing Tuesday full speed. And why wasn't Jaden available a few days ago? Uh, you can ask Jaden when he gets here, but uh, we don't talk about personal reasons of why guys aren't here. And who's competing for the number one jersey on the offensive side? Um, right now, there's not much competition for the number one jersey. We're, we're uh, deciding if we're going to hold on to that one or not. Um, you know, you've got to, guys have to want number one and then win number one. So that's right now what we're working on. What do you think the biggest accomplishment was for the team during the fall camp? Um... I think they came together as a team more than they have in the past. There's been a lot more. Any guys that come out to practice consistently between a year ago and today, you see there's a lot more energy on the practice field. There's a lot more togetherness. There's a lot more um, passion. And um, our goal was to come together as a team. That's what training camp is about. You know, we wanted to become a better football team fundamentally and be better communicators and make sure that we came together in unity. And I think we did better there. We talked about improving the red zone. How do you feel that red zone offense, defense, on that speaking up at this point? Well, we've, we've committed a lot of man hours to red zone. We've committed a lot of practice hours to red zone. And um, the biggest thing for us was uh, the execution seemed to improve uh, each day. And uh, what we got to is we got to a point where as I, you know, thought would happen, that guys that are more confident running routes or bigger backs that are harder to tackle uh, give you a better chance to be successful in the red zone. On the same token, our defense needed to get better in the red zone. And they started to see a lot of things that they couldn't defend last year in terms of what we were trying to get done. They, you know, the bigger, taller receivers, now we have them. The tight ends that can be displaced out, now we have them and then the speed at running back as well as the size of running back. So we at least are giving them this opportunity. Now, we're not where we want to be. We have 13 more days to get there. Uh, we'll focus in on the red zone again uh, starting Tuesday's practice. Has Russell Davis been maybe the biggest surprise or breakout of, of this camp? You know, the, the thing about him was, you know, he was the Arizona Defensive Player of the Year. And uh, he had, the, I think, 16 sacks in high school. And, you know, he came in and he, he's gained 23 pounds since he's been here in our program starting June 1st. So really what it was for him is, you know, when he got here, would he be big enough right away? So when, we, so when he started putting on the pounds and he started gaining some size, I think that's when you started seeing him move up with the reps, you know, working with the twos more rather than the threes. And uh, I think we all knew he had some twitchiness and some pop, but, uh, you know, he's a freshman and he's, you know, this is going to be a process for him to get into this game when the tackles are 280 to 300. In the absence of Kelly and Anthony, since you've been doing this stuff, you just talked about what's up past week. 
Yeah, I think Simpson and Kevin Green have uh, taken all of those reps, you know, that Cowling would have had, plus all of their reps that they normally would have. So the first thing is hats off to uh, Simpson. I mean, he, he hits that. He runs 6,000 yards every single practice. Uh, because you see he's also on every phase of special teams. So uh, he's stepped it up and he's done a really good job. You know, he's only a true sophomore. And uh, the fact that he's able to jump in there and play all the positions at receiver, uh, he's catching the ball better too. Uh, the biggest thing for him was maybe early on his confidence in his hands. I see that he's uh, grown more confidence there. And that's a lot of makes more plays. Can you talk about the growth you've seen in Noah? I think Noah's, you know, a freshman that's getting better every day. Um, Noah's going to have a role for us um, to improve daily, um, and hopefully uh, we can stay healthy at quarterback. And for the next 12 weeks, uh, Jaden plays every snap. And uh, if we don't, then we'll have to figure out uh, where we are from there. But Noah's going to keep getting better every day. He's working his tail off, and uh, he's so smart, and he's dedicated. Uh, as is Jordan McLeod. And uh, those guys, the three of them have really, you know, worked well together. And then I think uh, hats off to Gunner and Will for how hard they've worked and what they've done to make sure that those three guys are continuing to be successful. And Will should be coming back full go here next week. Good? Yeah, I, uh, injury wise, uh, the, they, I think uh, I expect both of them back for the game. Um, and Cowing, I expect back Tuesday. And I think everybody else that uh, I'll, I'll, we'll see on him. I don't know his timeline. But other than that, we're pretty healthy. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Good to see you guys. Awesome. It's fun. What did you think of the defense's performance? Uh, that we did some good things, you know. Tackling the steel would need some work. But overall, I thought they did. They did did a good job of executing the calls and communicating, you know. So uh, I was proud of them tonight. What's your emphasis when it comes to tackling? What are, what are the points that you're talking I think about? they got to trust in their ability to make the tackle. Don't question it. And when you see them break down, and that's when all those missed tackles occur. You know, they just got to trust their incident and pull the trigger and go make the tackle, you know, and that's the only way you're going to get better at it. The first scrimmage you guys had, you know, I don't believe you guys were able to come up with a turnover. I think the offense did a good job of protecting the ball, you know. I mean, we, we talked about it in our meeting this morning. we got to get turnovers or takeaways. And uh, they, I'm proud of the offense for, for holding on to the ball. How do you feel the pressure was from your, from your rush? Uh, I thought we got home, you know, in the four-man rush when we start cutting up the games inside. Uh, you know, uh, so I was proud. It, it looked cleaner from the, from the last scrimmage. Are you surprised by Russell Davis or is it something you I expect it. You know, he's a gifted kid. You know what I mean? He's going to have to step up and help us out, you know, especially now with our depth and all that good stuff. You know, so I, I like what I see. What is it about him? Like, what is it about him? In high school, he got the quarterback a lot. What is it about his skill set that allows him to come? I think, I think the game is important to him. He studies the game really, really hard, and, and his dad has been really a good role model for him, you know, growing up, you know, so he's a natural pass rusher. So, you know, other than cleaning up the running part of it, you know, playing the run, I think uh, yeah, his future is pretty damn bright. Jed said he's gained 23 pounds. you know this weight's at? Uh, right I now? don't. I don't. Yeah. Um, so what, what's the value for um, Prysock and Tario Davis getting all these reps that they're getting a lot of them against the one? How is that going to help? Oh, that's going to help them. You know, we're counting on those kids to play for us. You know, going against T-Mac and our number one receivers, you know, that's only going to help, you know, prepare them for, for the season. And, you know, you never know. It's a long season, and those guys are going to have to help us. What have you liked about their progression through training camp? Uh, I think their football IQ is pretty, damn, pretty high. You know, they understand the game, and, they, and Coach, Coach uh, Walker has done a great job bringing them along. What has uh, Colby Cage done to, to warrant team uh, getting all this luck with the first team? Uh, I think, you know, he understands the defense. Uh, I think he's, he's starting to feel comfortable at that role. Uh, and then, you know, the ability to cover down and run, you know, he's, he's a pretty good athlete. You know, so I, I think those are the things that, uh, that stand out to me. You've been around some really talented football players during your coaching career or other stops. What do you make of T Mac's ability? Uh, he's pretty good. You know, I've uh, been around Juju Smith. You know, uh, he's 
kind of he's got that you know ability. You know what I mean? Not as big and physical, but the the, the, the ability to go after the football. I think that's you know that's kind of the guy that I compare it to. How does the focus now change for you as a coaching staff? Just, just look at all the, 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 you know, all the little things that we need to get better at fundamentally, uh, tackling. You know, we just got to keep hammering that stuff at home, you know, and eventually get ready for San Diego. But the fundamentals is really going to be the, the stuff that we're going to have at home. You've had guys kind of going in and out of the lineup at defensive tackle, nose tackle throughout camp. Is that maybe a good thing in a way because? You- and see a lot of guys and a lot of guys have gotten reps. Yeah, I know. I, like I told you guys before, you know, that's part of, you know, our, our system is to try to play more than one guy. You know, uh, you know, last year at, at another place where I was at, I was able to play nine games. I mean, nine guys in one game. So that's what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? So to rotate and keep everybody fresh until the first fourth quarter is, is really important. What do you think the biggest accomplishment you guys have accomplished on the defensive side of the ball in camp? Uh, I think the system, you know, the, our guys have a better understanding of the system. We put a lot. There's a lot going in, and the kids have been able to pick it up, you know, and then obviously, you know, today you didn't see the takeaways, but, you know, we're still, you know, that, that's one thing that's standing out to me the most is uh, the ability to go after the football. That's our time. Okay, thank you guys. Appreciate it.